Chinese version of DoDash has just dropped an MIT license video foundation model, long cat video, and that is what we are going to install in this video and also we are going to generate a video from text. But before that, let me tell you a bit more about this model because this really seems like a groundbreaking development when it comes to video modality. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Previously, around a month ago, we covered their long cat flash chat model, which was a really good mixture of expert model. So let's see what they have done this time with this video model. This model is designed to handle multiple generative tasks like text to video, image to video, and even video continuation within one unified system, which means you can create long running videos with this model. This model is just 13.6 billion parameters, combining transformer-based diffusion modeling with efficient reinforcement learning techniques. The model, according to the benchmarks which they have shared, is uh, supposedly really good at creating long, high-quality videos, even more than multiple minutes in duration in one go. There is no color drift or temporal inconsistency, and they have also done a lot of other video continuation pre-training, which I will be talking further down the road along with the architecture. But for now, let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. First up, I'm Git cloning the repo of Longcat video and I will drop the link in video's description. Okay, next up, I'm going to create a virtual environment with Conda. And now let me install the Torch and Torch Vision. And while that installs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. So please do check them out. And that is done. Let me clear the screen. And now we need to install all the other requirements. And while that happens, let's talk a bit more about its architecture in very simple words. So architecturally, it is built on diffusion transformer framework using single stream 3D transformer blocks with self and cross attention layers and a 3D rotary positional embedding for spatio-temporal understanding. What it does is it compresses video input through a WAN 2.1 VAE, which is Variational Auto Encoder, and uses the T5 text encoder for multilingual prompt understanding. Efficiency is enhanced with innovations like KV caching for reusing condition features, of course, and also block sparse attention or BSA by retraining or retaining only the most relevant token interactions. It also uses multi-reward GRPO training, which balances visual quality, motion realism, and text video alignment. This whole combination allows it to rival leading open source and even some commercial systems like Google View and OpenAI Sora in benchmarks such as vBench. And that is what has surprised me a lot because those models are not bad at all and challenging them on vBench is quite a good deal. Anyway, we will generate a video once it gets installed and see how much valid those benchmarks are. And meanwhile, on the other side, everything is installed. Let's now download the model. For that, I'm just going to use the Hugging Face Hub CLI. And it is downloading the model. This is going to take some time. So let's wait for it. And the model is now downloaded. And now let's try to generate the video. What they have done is they have graciously provided some of the scripts in their repo, which I cloned. And this is the script which you can use to generate text to video. And if I just go down, this is the prompt which I'm going to use, where in a realistic photography style, a stunning 25 year old blonde woman sits on a park bench wearing a light blue blouse and all that stuff. 
and there is also a dog which eagerly licks the ice cream while sunlight filters through the trees so it's a just a warm and companionship sort of uh, outdoor scene and then there are some negative prompt and i think this is just due to the van 2.1 because van model really requires some negative prompt so that those things don't appear in the image so this is the script which i'm going to use let me go back and then run this script from the terminal and this script is going to use the model and then it is going to generate the video so let's run this while it runs let's also check the vram consumption as the model gets loaded onto the gpu let's wait for it to get loaded and this is the vram consumption so consuming over 42 gig of vram as the model is fully loaded and generating the video so i will wait to see how long does it take and then i will show you the video and you can see that the eta at the moment is has dropped from 40 to 22 minutes so let's see it will fluctuate i believe and then i will let you know how long does it take and the video is almost done you can see that it has taken just over 11 minutes around 12 minutes i would say and now it has moved on to the next step which is supposedly taking around three to five minutes but we will see and that took around two minutes and we are on to the next step so i think it's a denoising process which refines the video so let's see how it goes and the model has finished generating the output and within the same repo wherever you have run this you see it has generated three videos and let me play them one by one in the browser and i will explain what is the difference between these three videos let me take you to my browser so this is the first six second video not bad and this is the video which is a raw generation from the base diffusion transformer model and it has generated at the course around 480 pixel 15 frame per second stage and what this one is doing it is just capturing the core composition and motion but with less detail softer textures and occasional noise or flicker so you can just think of this video as some foundation clip before any optimization or refinement is applied the second one it has generated is this distilled version now let me play this and then you can notice that this version has come from the distillation training using classifier free guidance distillation and consistent C model distillation also. It reproduces nearly the same quality as the base model but it is much faster and it just needs 16 inference steps. The frame quality is smoother but I think the previous one's quality is much better especially the human face if you look at it. But it's not bad again even the foundation model was not uh, bad now this is the best one this is a refined high quality one let me play this look at that just try to for find any faults this is the best one i would say it has refined up to 720 pixel at 30 frame, frame per second it has improved texture sharpness lighting and color accuracy it has used block sparse attention bsa which i mentioned earlier to keep computation efficient while restoring fine details and correcting distortions and this version is closest to the production grade with realistic visuals and stable motion so again first one was raw diffusion output second one uh, the distilled one was speed optimized but this one is production grade and a final enhanced version look at the lighting human face is fine uh, one thing of course you know her eyes are not on the dog uh, they are just you know focusing here so it could be improved but i think still not bad and if you look at the fingers they're a bit off i'm not nitpicking but i have learned this from you guys in the comments so anyway i'm just kidding but i think it's not bad at all really really good stuff okay and you can see that for six minutes it has uh, taken around i would say 17 minutes if you combine all these three times so 17 minutes for a six second video for this refined 
I think the quality has really gone up, no doubt about that. And similarly, you can generate the long videos and they have also shared the script where you will provide the path of the previous video file, then the prompt, and then you can just create a loop. And then from there, it will keep generating by taking the previous video as a reference. So pretty interesting. Uh, let me know what do you think about this. I'm quite impressed by the model, no doubt about that. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot because these things not only take a lot of time, but also a uh, lot of resources. So I would highly appreciate if you want me to keep producing these sort of videos. Thank you for all the support.